Okay, let's be honest here. When was the last time that you caught yourself plotting revenge? <laughs> Do you often hold on to a situation until you can get the last word? Or are you able to kind of make the situation a lesson and then move on from it? Have you ever contemplated what seeking revenge can do to you energetically? I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and the topic today is never seek revenge. Rotten fruit will fall by itself. Okay, why is it important to avoid the revenge mindset? And I, I put that mindset word behind because maybe you don't actually go, you know, slash your tires, but maybe you in your brain you're thinking of it. And that can create the same like chemical experience in your body. So that's good to know. So here's the deal. It's actually poisonous to you. It can impact your health greatly to be in that revenge mindset. And let's talk about the golden rule. You want to be very careful about what energy you're sending out as it's going to return back to you. And you're better than that. Their bad behavior probably had pretty much nothing to do with you. It was all about them. So here's a couple quotes. I never seek revenge on those who have wronged me as karma keeps a small pencil and a golf scorecard. Josh Stern. I don't seek revenge because the karma bus always arrives on time. Unknown. So here's a couple questions for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you do at letting go of bad situations? And... What do you think you actually causes you to hold on to situations instead of just letting them go? All right, so I've got three for you today. Three ways to forgive and let go. Number one, release the poison. For, forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. That's a common misconception. It just means you're not going to drink the poison of that energy anymore. Number two, pay it forward. Has anybody seen that movie? Because it's really good. If you haven't seen it or it's been a long time because it's an older movie, uh, go watch it because it's awesome. But paying it forward. Doing nice things for others. Okay, so we're not talking about... You have this bad situation with this human over here. Okay, this has already happened. But if you can pay forward good energy to other people over here, okay, this puts out the kind of energy you want in the world. So if you can start kind of switching your brain to instead of getting revenge on this person or this situation, I'm going to move over here and do as many nice things for as many people as I can to make sure I'm building up the good energy that this toxic person, bleh, you know, put the bad en energy out there. All right, number three, run it out. Exercise is a great way to get rid of some anger and frustration. Get in a good workout or at least some fresh air and detox, er, detox from it. Okay, uh, I'm pretty big into, um, you know, running on my elliptical and lifting, kind of ironic I've got a Nike shirt on today, but um, I'm, I'm big into fitness and I work with some people on that as well. But I will tell you that when you start seeing exercise as your way to get recentered in yourself and brush off all that negative energy, it becomes a lot easier to do every day. All right, circling around, never seek revenge, rotten fruit will fall by itself. So which of those three tips work for you? All right, here's your intention for today. I choose to let it go.
Thanks for showing up to grow with me today at Growing Sage. It takes a village, so I appreciate your time and your energy. And if there's anything you ever want to work on one-on-one, -on -one, just book a session. Go to my website, growingsagejourney.com, and keep sharing these videos with friends you think might appreciate them. That's another way to put good kindness out there. Love you guys. Have a good day.